Hi guys, I'm Mega. On this episode of Mega's Cooking Channel, I want to share with you all how to make the very appetizing, soft, and the puffy pita bread. This can be made using whole wheat flour as well as all-purpose flour. Today, I'm going to use all-purpose flour. So let's see how it's made. To prepare pita bread, you need three cups of all-purpose flour, two quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast, two tablespoons of olive oil. 1 cup of warm water and 1 3 4 teaspoons of salt first i'll start by adding the yeast into the mixing bowl now in goes the warm water and your water has to be about 90 degree to 100 degree fahrenheit if your water is too hot you may end up killing the yeast or if your water is too cold your yeast might not activate so make sure your water is at the right temperature now out of 3 cups of all-purpose flour, I am going to add in a cup of flour and whisk it. Now in goes about 1 tablespoon of olive oil and salt. Whisk it again and let it rise for 4-5 to five minutes. After 5 minutes, add in about 1.5 cups of all-purpose flour and keep the rest to add it later if your dough becomes sticky. Now start to knead your dough and knead it for at least 10 minutes in order to form gluten. Well, this is exactly how you make your pizza dough, just not adding the sugar, that's it. After kneading it for 10 minutes, you can see here my dough is sticky and this is the time to use your rest of the flour. So add in the flour and knead it for 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, you can see here, my pita bread dough is nice and smooth and not sticky anymore. Now I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil to the same mixing bowl. And I'm just forming this into a ball and all you need to do is pull the sides and pinch it to the bottom. There you have a perfect ball. Now coat the surface and bottom of the dough with the oil and just going to cover it with the kitchen towel and I want the dough to rise double in size so it might take about 1 hour to 2 hours depending on the temperature. It took about an hour for my dough to rise and it is exactly double in size. Now I'm gonna remove that from the bowl and dust the work surface. Now I'm gonna press it down with my hands into a flat shape. So that it is easy for me to cut and divide into 8 equal portions. Now once you've cut your dough into 8 equal pieces, simply form this into small round loaves and you need to kind of pull the top down and tuck it down underneath the bottom. Once finished, just cover it with the kitchen towel and let it rise for another half hour. After 30 minutes, my loaves are almost double in size and I am ready to roll my pita bread. So here I am taking one loaf and just going to dust some flour so that it doesn't stick to my board. And with the help of rolling pin, I am going to roll it to a quarter inch thick disc shape. The same way, I will roll the rest of my loaves so that all my pita bread will get a chance to rise a little bit before grilling. Here, I am using a cast iron skillet on medium high heat and I am going to grill it for like 2 minutes per side. Now flip it and grill it for 2 more minutes. Now flip it back and you will see that your pita bread is puffing. That is what we want, a big air pocket. That's it, your pita bread is now ready and it was so easy to make. I'm going to show you one more and if you have observed, I did not add oil at all. If you like to add a little bit of oil, you can go ahead and add a little bit at the end 
because if you add oil to your cast iron skillet your pita bread will have blisters which you don't want here I'm done making all my pita bread and I always prefer to eat it with butter it will taste awesome you can also eat it with any of your favorite curries and look at this how puffy and soft it is you can see a big air pocket so make this pita bread and enjoy it with your friends and family okay guys my pita bread is ready and before tasting I want to show you how soft and puffy is my pita bread look at this I just want to show you how puffy it is like you know you can really make it into two parts this is just one pita bread and I made it into two I mean really that soft it is so here I have eggplant curry I'm gonna eat it with this you can eat it with any of your favorite curries or even butter I've had it with butter so many times especially when you have the hot pita bread with butter it tastes so delicious so wow it's really so so soft mm. it is so soft and just tastes like a pizza crust I really really love it go to megascookingchannel.com and get the recipe and make this one for your family and enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such appetizing recipes thank you for watching I'll see you in the next episode bye bye